Nicholas Gallatzine, hello mate. How you doing? I'm doing very well, but I can't be doing half as well as you. It's been a it's been a mad 12 months since the old red, white and royal blue. How's, how's life changed for you the last uh, few months? I, I, I mean, on the day today, very, very little, but um, I, I, honestly, I think it's more just, you know, the amazing doors that have kind of opened, I think, because of the movie and... You know, the, the, the sort of prospect of future work is um, is really, really exciting. So um, I'm just kind of bathing in it and, and enjoying it. Yeah. I mean, the prospect of current work is pretty exciting as yeah. well. You, you stood a, uh, less than a stone's throw from Mr. Yeah. Young, one from, um, of the greatest actresses of the generation. Uh, this experience working with her on this brand new saucy little show, which we'll get onto. <laughs> I mean, that must have had your head spinning as an actor. I mean, look, it, it, she's an icon. You know, I, I grew up watching uh, all of our movies. Um, but I think, you know, you kind of have to forget all of that when you're on set and, and build a chemistry between, you know, a, a mother and a son. And, and um, I just feel very lucky to be able to share the screen with her because, you, you know, you as a as an up-and-coming actor, you're trying to, to absorb as much information as you possibly can. And, and she's, you know... So, uh, so giving as a performer uh, and, and as a colleague, so yeah, it's great. And there's been a real resurgence in recent years of kind of sexy period dramas. Yeah. We had The Great, we had Bridgerton. Yeah. This has got, I'd say, a lot more bite to it than, oh, than yeah. some that we've seen. Who knew history was this much of a this, romp? Yeah, history is sexy. I mean, if, if, I think that is the, the, the elevator pitch for the entire project, but yeah. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, this particular show. It's based yeah. on uh, Mary and George. It's, it's this guy's relationship with his mother, yeah. how she's trying to kind of push the family yeah. forward, push them into quite some dark exactly. territory. Yeah, well, we well, well, so the family, the Villiers family, they're kind of on the verge of oblivion, you know, uh, on the verge of becoming impoverished. Uh, no sort of prospects. She, she sees potential in her son and, and sends him off to France to become this Renaissance man. Uh, uh, with the aim of, of coming back in and seducing the King of England, King James. And uh, through that, they accrue all of this power and, and this wealth and, and really help, you know, take their family from the, the verge of oblivion to, to basically being the most powerful people outside of the King in the royal court. So very Machiavellian, lots of intrigue along the way, lots of sex and, and fun, and, and yeah, it was, it was such a blast to shoot. What do you think your mum's going to think of it? Did it make you second guess your own uh, relationship with her? My, my mum isn't probably as conniving as, as, as Mary is in this. She's uh, a lot more more giving with her, her affection, thankfully. But um, but no, I'm, there's, there's a, a few scenes that family in general probably shouldn't watch. So uh, yeah, we'll be watching it behind closed eyes. And finally, doing this and red, white, and royal blue—is it giving you an expensive taste in a way? I mean, you've been used to I've the always had, I've always yeah. had expensive taste. No, uh, I think I mean, it, well, it's kind of the full perspective in a way because you know they, they don't come from much in the beginning, and I, I think um, it, the the lesson is very much you know too much power can corrupt, and so it's kind of a bit of an Icarus story of don't fly too close to the sun, otherwise you know you might get burnt. A little bit of power is okay though. Yeah, this is a smidge. Just a little bit. Congratulations, man. I really enjoyed it. I'm sure other people are going to do it as well. Have a great night. Thank you. I appreciate you, mate.